Hello, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I hope everybody's doing okay today. Uh, like the complete idiot that I am, I drove all the way to the store talking to myself because that camera was not on and neither was my recorder. <laughs> So I drove all the way to the store talking to myself instead of actually being able to do a video. I just drove along and talked and I had a bunch of things to say and um, and it didn't matter what I had to say because none of it got recorded and that's okay because now I've got it going again. Boy, the turning radius on this truck is terrible, I'm telling you. As you can see from looking in my mirrors and such, I do not have a lot of room to turn. Dude, old man, wait for me. Goodness. They keep creeping up closer and closer to you because they think you're going to be magically gone in a matter of seconds. And they don't understand that these old vehicles don't turn quite as sharp as those little bitty cars they drive nowadays. Anyway... I wanted to make sure that the video that I'm doing now, I'm doing it two ways. I'm recording on the camera and I'm recording on the glasses as well. So, and I'm recording the voice separate from all of it. So we're going to see how that works out. Um, Like I said, I was an idiot. I drove all the way up here to the store talking to myself and didn't have the camera turned on and didn't have the microphone turned on either, the audio recorder. And that's okay. I, I'm an idiot once in a while. We all have to admit we're idiots once in a while, right? So one of the key points I wanted to make with uh, on my drive up here to the store, which didn't get made because everything was off, um, is that my dentures have taught me an, an enormous amount about myself. Um, so, for example, they taught me that I can handle much more physical pain than I thought I could handle. They taught me that I could handle much more emotional distress than I thought I could handle. They taught me that I needed to be very patient so I've learned a lot of patience since having my dentures. They taught me that I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. Absolutely anything. Because learning how to go adhesive-free with very little ridge on the bottom denture and learning how to use the muscles to control all that and keep it in, Obviously, I'm not using adhesive. I haven't used adhesive in a year and a half, almost two years. Actually, yeah, about two years. I have not used adhesive um, other than for demonstration purposes or on occasion when I couldn't get the denture fit to be to work correctly through error of my own and frustrations of my own. Um I would have to use, I had to use adhesive a little bit then, but I hate adhesive. So learning all the things that I've learned with having my dentures has taught me a lot about myself, how to handle things, how to adjust to situations. Um, so with all that being said, that's why I'm trying new ways, new things, um, new technologies. The app that I'm using to record my voice on my phone is really cool because it allows me to turn the screensaver on or turn the screen off on my phone and put my phone away and it continues to record where most apps won't do that. It also allows me to use my Bluetooth microphone which I have set 
to very low sensitivity. So hopefully it's not picking up a lot of background noise. Uh, one thing I've noticed about microphones on little cameras and these glasses and phones and things of that nature is that they will pick up every sound within 200 feet of you. The microphones are very, very sensitive. With this app, I can set the sensitivity of this microphone down so low that you shouldn't be able to hear any background noise, but I won't know that until I edit this video, and then I want you to leave me a comment and let me know how the audio turned out on this video, seeing how that I'm recording it separately from the actual videos themselves. Tell me if you like this new way uh, of me vlogging. Um, I'll be able to drive and vlog without having a lot of interference from background noise and things like that. Uh, hopefully the camera's not shaking around too much. I don't know. I won't know that until I edit the video. But I'm just trying to come up with better ways to make videos so I'm not always stuck just making a video at home. Dentures have taught me a lot about myself and a lot about my patients and a lot about my emotional stability and things of that nature. They've also taught me that you have to Keep trying until you get what you want, whether that be your dentures or a new job or the love of your life or um, a, a recording system for your vlogging or whatever the case may be. You have to keep trying. You cannot give up. And that's one of the reasons I always say in all of my videos, keep trying, keep smiling, and never give up. Well, actually, I say it different. I say keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up. But you understand the concept of that. So knowing that about myself and knowing that I'm trying to be able to bring a different style of videos to you. There's a lot of times where I'm out and about and something will hit me, an idea will hit me, or... Um, a concept will come into my mind about just life in general or functioning with dentures or whatever the case may be. And I'm either driving or I'm riding the bike or whatever the case may be. And I can't record that. And then by the time I get where I'm going or get back home, I've already forgotten the entire, you know, I, I sit and I try to remember, okay, I had a great thought today. What was it? But it's hard to remember when you've got so much else going on. When you're riding a motorbike, you're paying attention to every little thing around you all the time. In front of you, behind you, to the sides of you, you're paying attention to what that car's doing, that car's doing, that car's doing. You're looking five cars ahead to make sure nobody's going to wipe out in front of you, things like that. Same with driving. And it's really nice to be able to just turn on a camera and start talking and not have to worry about, um, staring right at the camera or holding it in your hand or trying to hold it over here next to you while you're driving, things of that nature, and not have to worry about all the extra background noise around you, cars going by, things of that nature, um, all that extra background noise I don't have to worry about. Um, so it's nice to be able to just drive down the road and talk to myself and have people look at me funny. They see me with a headset on, so they assume I'm on the telephone. They don't know any better, so they assume I'm on the phone, which is awesome. doesn't matter to me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, you know, just, just trying this new way and uh, want your opinion on it. Let me know if it's, uh, it's going to work out, if you like it, if it sounds good, if the video quality is good. I'm using the camera on the dashboard. I'm also using my glasses to record video. And like I said, I'm recording the audio separately from both cameras because I want the audio to be able to match both cameras. So if I turn my head left or if I turn my head right, I want that audio when I'm speaking to match that video. So that's going to be the hard part of lining it up with the audio and the video 
getting it lined up and meshed perfectly on the video editing program. But I don't think I'll have a problem with that. So even though I'm in a big truck, big pickup, I you know, I piss people off all the time because I double check both ways before I go jerking out into into traffic and such. I don't want to just jump out into traffic and and assume that everybody's going to stop at a stoplight. My brother and I watch a lot of videos on YouTube and we watch a lot of crash compilations too. And we just see idiots and my brother's a truck driver, so he sees idiots out there every day, all day long. People that just aren't paying attention. I don't get out as much as he does right now. But when I'm on my bike, I see lots of idiots out there. Uh, they don't see you. And sometimes that gets really dangerous. So I've, just from riding a bike, I've learned to really, really pay attention to both ways all the time check your mirrors check behind you check both ways before you pull out into traffic or before you leave a stoplight things of that nature um, watch for the speeds of vehicles so anyway riding a motorbike has taught me a lot about life in general as well you can learn from anything if you put your mind to it there's always a lesson to be learned I'm almost back at the house now with my bacon and eggs that I went and purchased because I was really in the mood for bacon and eggs. <laughs> I am going to um, look forward to reading your comments about this video, so you can let me know if you like the way it turned out. Um, let me know if it's you know if the video quality is good, if the audio quality is good, if you like the way I'm doing this. Um, it's just another option for me to be able to, um, you know, keep content going on my channel and be able to talk about things without um, being stuck at home holding the phone or having a camera on a tripod or whatever. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I will see you in my next video. Keep smiling, keep trying, and please never give up.